What's up guys, I am back with another sports edit tutorial and last time I said this one will be um, on where you actually cut out the player and put him on a sep completely separate background. The last one that we did, um, we just kept him on the background and then added effects to that. Um, so that was the easier way, um, the easier version of a sports edit. Um, now we're going to be doing the, um, a little more difficult one, but it's still very easy. Um, so today I'm going to do it on Andre Johnson. So I'm just going to pull up images. I'll bring it over here on my monitor. Um, search tools. We're going to go to size, large, because we want it to be as um, high quality as possible. Um, and I think this one looks pretty cool. Oh, wait, actually. That one. Uh, so difficult. I'm just kidding. Um, I'll do this one. So, while that's loading, um, we're going to go to File, New, 960 by 960. Alright, so it loaded up. Let me save the image. So, Andre Johnson. Okay, let me pull the skin in. Uh, where is it? Uh, so I'm trying to find it. Hopefully I saved it in there. Yeah, I did save it in there. I just can't find it. Okay, let me just search it. Andre. What the? I saved it in skins. Oh, whoops. I actually saved it in desktop. Hold on. Let me save it back in the skins. Andre. Johnson. Okay. Where the heck? There it is. Alright, there we go. So we have Andre Johnson pulled up. And we can just click enter because we are going to cut him out so we don't have to worry about stretching it out too much. But I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Let's pull there. Pull about there. All right, so press Enter. I'm gonna rasterize it. I'm gonna delete the background, and now we're gonna pull out our quick select tool, and we are just going to start cutting him out, selecting Andre Johnson or whatever player you guys are doing. Do that. And I will just pause the video and come back when I finish. Okay, so I finished this. Let me just fix that a little bit. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, if you have a little too much selected, um, we'll fix that at the end. So I'm just going to do um, cut. And then first get the paste. And then you can delete the other layer. All right, so this is what it looks like. So now we can just go through and start cleaning up the edges. So what I usually do is I just go around the edges, smoothen it out, get everything that's extra off with the eraser tool. It's a little bit difficult, but it shouldn't be too bad. And it doesn't have to be perfect as well. Okay, so let's do that. Usually the hands are what are messed up. Those are always hard to cut out. Alright, so we're getting there. Arm looks good. Right here is a little weird. Okay, almost done. And
Oops. Alright, that's probably good. Oh well. Okay, so I actually cut off a little too much right here. You can see. So what you can do is you can use the spot healing brush and kind of get best. Um, do that, and I could try and go back over with the racer. Get that. That looks a little better. Shot right there. No, let's just do that. Go over with a little bit of brush. Oops. Um. There we go. That should be good. So you can see, it looks really nice. Um, and we can also pull him down so that way, you know, his legs aren't screwed up. And then you can do something like that as long as it doesn't look too distorted. Um, do that. It doesn't look too bad if you just bring it up. Um, oops, there's like a big old line going through here. So let me just bring this up. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So now what we can do is we're going to duplicate it. So we're going to right click and duplicate layer. I like doing this because it just makes it look nicer. So on the layer one copy, go to filter, blur, motion blur. And we can do like something like 70, like zero. And you won't notice yet because there's no background, but you'll notice a little better afterwards. Actually, you can kind of see it. Just blurs it. In the back. Okay, so now if we go on to layer one, we're going to start our skin. I'm just going to do something like detail. Bring up the detail a little bit. Probably pull down um, highlight shadows. Put some exposure down, contrast. Should be good. That looks pretty cool. Um, Uncheck that just to see if there's anything bad. No, that's just not okay. I'm going to go to adjust and then I'm going to go to dynamic pop 2. So, this is what it used to look like right there, and now this is what it looks like. See from there to there, that looks pretty cool. And then I'm going to do that, and you can see that. All right, so now I'm going to start bringing in my background. So, we got our skin done. Um, so let me just find a cool background for a blue, um, this one could be pretty good. Let's bring that down there. Yeah, it probably would. Um, I'm going to do something, so I'm going to go to adjustments on that layer, hue and saturation. I'm going to try and get it a little bit darker. I'm gonna try that. That looks pretty cool. And then I'm gonna do something like this, maybe. Screen. Let's try overlay. Nah. Color dodge. Let's do that. Color dodge. And just kind of mess around with it. Let's see this one. Put that under. Try, oops, yeah, screen maybe. Overlay. I like that. That looks, gives it a nice texture. Let's bring in the smoke. Put that under. Overlay that. Give it that effect. And then let's try a few more. I like, I just want to see how this would look with the lighting effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the select tool, I'm going to drag as much as I can since I screenshotted it, cut that out as best as I can, like that, oops, no more up, right there. So we're going to put that over everything, overlay it now, screen, doesn't look too bad.
try that maybe. That actually looks pretty cool. And then now I'm just going to bring in the star effect. Because I like the star effects. I always like doing that. So I'm going to do that. Wrong thing. Screen it. Try right that that looks pretty freaking awesome. So that's how it is. And now we're just gonna bring in some text. Um let's do like two hundred. Andre. So I actually could do a little more. Two forty, let's try that. Two fifty. Alright, and then to get it centered up, you're just going to click like one of the backgrounds, select, go to select and then all, then go back to the text, go to layer, align selections, layer selections and horizontal centers, and it'll center it up. We're going to want this under there, and we're going to do overlay, and then on the overlay we're going to Give it a drop shadow and shadow stroke. Something like that. That looks pretty cool. I think that looks good. You can see it enough. Um, so I'll do it like that. That looks good. So now we are pretty much done. Uh, we can right click flatten image and then I'm just going to bring in my watermark. Check it for aspect ratio. Bring it a little smaller. Put it like right there. Then I'm going to do a layer dodge. There you go. Flatten image. And then I like doing something like that. Um, where you take the last thing that you did. Well if it's adjust or you do something like dynamic pop. So if you just control F, it'll bring it back. Um, you can do it again. And so if I do the dynamic pop too, you can see it makes it like pop out more. You can see sort of did. Um, sometimes it doesn't look too good. So maybe if we try dynamic pop one, that one might work. Sorry about that. Um, so you can see it just kind of pops out enough. It doesn't pop it out too much. You can also see it makes my water bark look a little nicer. So I think that looks good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how you can do a cool um, sports edit um, while cutting the player out. Um, I don't know what I'll do for next tutorial yet, but I'm going to try and get um, a video. If it's not a tutorial, obviously I do video games too, like Minecraft and stuff. Uh, if I'm going to try and get a video out once a day um, as best as I can if I'm not busy. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and favorite this video if you enjoyed. Leave feedback on um, if you want if you have any questions or concerns, um leave a comment. If you want to leave a request what you want to see next video, um you can do that. And also I'll be posting like um speed arts and stuff as well, speed edits. Um if you want have a question or if you want to see um a specific speed edit, like you can say I want to see a speed edit of like LaShawn McCoy or something like that. I don't care. Um, or a speed edit of a jersey swap. Whatever it is. Uh, I'll look into that. Um, look into your request and possibly do it. Um, so yeah. So now I can obviously just go to file. Save as. And save it where I want. And then obviously I would save it as Andre Johnson. This is what I usually do. I usually save it to um, uh Google Drive and then download it onto my phone. I have the Google Drive app. Um, so that's an easy way for you to get it on your phone and to your computer. I just use Google Drive and Dropbox. I use both. Um, obviously, Google Drive is um, nicer because you can have 15 gigs of space. In Dropbox, I have like 3.9, but normally most people have like one and a half or two, but it's just because I've been with Dropbox for a while. I've earned it and whatnot. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, check out my Instagram page and Twitter page. My Instagram is EternityDMR underscore edits. My uh, Twitter page is DMR underscore edits. Um, on the Twitter page, I post um, all my edits as I make them. And so I have like a um, big queue of edits I have. I need to post on Instagram. I only post my next Instagram edit once I get 25 likes on the last one. Um, and I also don't like posting all at once, so it's usually every um, couple hours or so. So I get about, I don't know, I post about three to four a day. Um, so I make a lot of edits, so I usually post them immediately onto Twitter. So if you want to see never-before-seen edits on Instagram, you can go on my Twitter page to see them before they actually get posted on Instagram. Um, so that's pretty cool um, for you guys. Um, so just follow me on Twitter. Um, and obviously subscribe to me on here, and then follow me on Instagram as well. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.